The masked militant known as Jihadi John has become the poster boy for all that has gone wrong in Britain's attempts to keep young Muslims from turning to terror groups like ISIS. Identified by security officials as Mohammed Amwazi, a shy London teenager before he left for Syria and became the mass murderer featured in the gruesome videos from ISIS. Now Britain's Prime Minister is vowing to crack down on the extremist ideology, both violent and non-violent, that enables groups like ISIS. Here's my message to any young person here in Britain thinking of going out there. You won't be some valued member of a movement. You are cannon fodder for them. They will use you. If you're a boy, they will brainwash you, strap bombs to your body and blow you up. If you are a girl, they will enslave and abuse you. Hundreds of British men and women are believed to have joined the terror group and others like it in Syria and Iraq. Cameron is now promising to crack down on preachers of hate who operate within British law and yet encourage extremist ideology. He's also bolstering Muslim groups to speak out against ISIS and other terror outfits. In his speech, he used the word kufar or disbeliever to make his point. This means confronting groups and organizations that may not advocate violence but which do promote other parts of the extremist narrative. We've got to show that if you say, yes, I condemn terror, but the kuffar are inferior, or violence in London isn't justified, but suicide bombs in Israel are a different matter, then you too are part of the problem. But Cameron also risks alienating British Muslims, many of whom already feel targeted by British security services, even as they try to distance themselves from groups like ISIS. And support for organizations like ISIS is most prevalent online, where extremism is hardest to tackle. That is how so many, including these three schoolgirls from East London, were lured into joining ISIS last year. To those young men and women, Cameron had this message. I know that for as long as injustice remains, be it with racism, discrimination, or sickening Islamophobia, you may feel there's no place for you in Britain. But I want you to know there is a place for you, and I will do everything I can to support you. But it may take more than a prime minister's speech to win hearts and minds and defeat extremism. Atika Schubert, CNN, London.